Good morning guys, today is Vlogtober day 9 and it is currently nearly 7 o'clock, I've been up for ages and I slept really badly but it's all good, I'm off to London and I thought we'd do a quick app for the day before I go, I have a shoot today for my book, another one and yeah this is the final one so better get some good shots but this is like my outfit for getting ready and also we're going to a gig tonight so this is like maybe not with the hat and scarf but my hat is from Kurt Geiger last year you're meant to wear it I like, folded up but I think pig it shush um I prefer it like this and then my scarf is from ASOS I have an H&M t-shirt on my Philip Lim bag um this jacket is from Boulder Skins which is it's like the softest jacket in the world, Mike, feel it? No, it could be. Is that not the softest jacket in the world? Very soft. Um, and then uh, my jeans are from Zara, my boots are from Geox, and that is my outfit, my piglet! I've got my piglet! Oh, she's so excited. That's it. See you in London! Goodbye! <laughs> Mike is actually taking me to the station this morning. I have hair in my lipstick, in my lip balm even. Um, Mike is actually taking me to the station this morning, which he never does. I'm so excited that I don't have to drive. And also when you drive, you have to leave like an extra 20 minutes to like buy your car and faff around and do all that jazz. Um, but why are you driving me today, Mike? Is it because you're coming to London? Not like now, but later on. Yeah, Mike's coming to London. Are you sure you're feeling all right? It's because I'm going to watch a gig because you're going to the Roundhouse watch Take Your Rocks Sunday. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> nice right onesie. Now, Are you driving the car in your onesie? No. Me. Busted. I've arrived in London and I actually came in uh, to Victoria and I decided to walk to about two and a half miles and my um, foot, whoa, it's icy. I'm walking along a bridge now and it's really, really icy. Um, yeah, it said only about a few minutes late so I'm trying to beat the time and walk really, really fast but I am walking across the bridge right now and I want to show you what a nice day it is. I just thought I can't not walk because it's such a nice day. This is what London looks like right now. And that's the other side, you can't really see the other side. But yeah, I'm on my way to a place called the Lemonade Factory in Battersea. I've never been there before. I think it's just like a studio. And as you can tell, I've been walking pretty fast and I've got my suitcase behind me as well. I'm um, trying to get there vaguely on time and enjoy a nice walk whilst I'm at it. I love it when London's like this, it's just so beautiful. There's another look for you. So I have arrived in the studio, this is what it looks like. Um, this is Siobhan, <laughs> you're out of focus, hello, there she is. And Laurie, the photographer, is also here. She was taking the photos last time, so you've seen her as well. And this is my friend Gareth, who's gonna be doing my hair and making me look somewhat more groomed than I look now. I'm gonna put some makeup on. Um, this is my very organised makeup stash that I brought with me. And yes, we have croissants as well, so I may have to eat one of these. I'm feeling a little bit hungry. Look how good they look. So we finished all of the hair shots, they're remaining top secret until the book. But we are now doing a couple of shots, the last ones of the day. We're losing light, I think. So, yeah, update. That's all. We have wrap shooting, or shooting, yeah. Not filming, but taking pictures for the day. Now, I'm gonna head to Oxford Street because Mike is gonna get here about six because we're going to see Taking Back Sunday, super excited. So I'm gonna go and try and get some Christmas shopping done. My phone is ringing, I think that's my cab. Um, I'm gonna go and get some Christmas shopping done on Oxford Street before we go and then go to the gig and get some dinner first as well. Very important. I'm just walking down Carnaby Street now doing a bit of Christmas shopping. I just managed to get some chocolates for my mum's stocking because I always do my mum's stocking every year. And I wanted to show you guys the lights on Carnaby Street because they are so cool this year. Look at these, they're amazing. So cool. I don't really love shopping on Carnaby Street except for Liberties, but they always have amazing lights and it makes me feel very, very festive. Look how cool this is guys. There's a steel band outside House of Fraser. Look at these lights as well. 
bit later now and I gave up on Oxford Street, I did actually get a couple of my mum's stocking fillers, which is good stuff. But Mike is stuck on the motorway at the moment. There was an accident. It's just got past it. I think it's going to be about half an hour late. So I'm sitting in the restaurant on my own. It's actually looking very nice and festive in here though. I'm still sitting here on my own and I'm currently on hold um, trying to get through to O2 who have yet again messed up my order for my upgrade for my phone. So it's been cancelled again so I have to try and get hold of them and apparently I'm in a queue and I might have to wait about 30 minutes. So rubbish customer service for O2. I wish I had switched contracts now and switched networks because they've been an absolute nightmare. On the plus side, feels weird when you're on the phone. I have a glass of Prosecco. It's not all bad. Look who's arrived! It's nice to see you, gorgeous. <laughs> Five years later. <laughs> How long did that journey just take you? Uh, Three hours, something like that. Oh wow, yeah. Poor Mike has been stuck in the car. Let's eat some tasty food and get a drink. Food has arrived and it's looking mighty fine. I got sea bass with butter beans and olives and it looks amazing. Mike got pheasant. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah. I'm actually really hungry. I it's weird when you do I feel like when I do shoots or like um kind of like on set or something all day, I get really tired and really hungry. Even though you're not really doing much, it's more like, I don't know, you're just like, we were talking about it today on shoot and like all the girls that normally work in office are like, it's so tiring, it's like men you're just mentally like in a different environment all the time. I don't know, I'm going to eat this now. We decided to treat ourselves and go for dessert. I chose affogato, which is vanilla ice cream with a shot of espresso that you pour over like this and it kind of melts together and it's super delicious. Mike decided he would go for the diet option. You rascal. Don't know what you mean. We've just finished our meal and it is a miserable weather. It's not so cold anymore, but it's raining. And we, Mike's got his car, obviously, because he drove down. So we are going to jump in the car and drive to as close as to the venue as we can get. We're trying to work out. It's at the Roundhouse, which is in Chalk Farm. We're trying to work out um, where you can park because the website's like, don't park in the Camden area. Um, so I think we're going to park in like Primrose Hill and then walk across the bridge to Roundhouse and we'll see if it works. Such a delightful evening. We're here, we made it, we parked, sorted. Oh, come on, the suspense is killing me. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? throwback and loved it. My okay. contact lenses are so dry now. Uh, they've been in since like 5.30 this morning. I'm like, eeeeee. So it's a good deal, it's not smell of vision around here. It's a bit stinky. It's, it's a lot stinky actually. Sure it's not you. Right, let's go home and see them poopies. <laughs> hey guys, look what's arrived, it's a tree! That is a massive tree. That is going to be tomorrow's... Hello! Hi guys! Hi! I miss you, pig! I miss you! Hello, guys! Hello! Hey, pig! Is that the end of Vlogmas Day 9? Say bye then! Bye! Hey, pig! Get ready for the jingle!